Hello, I'm Dr. Christina Matkowski, and welcome to Carbone Classroom, CSI edition. Today, we're going to learn how pathologists, like me, identify cancer. When doctors suspect a patient may have cancer, the first step is to take a tissue sample, called a biopsy. For example, if a patient has a growth in their lungs, the doctor will use a needle to take a small biopsy of it. The biopsy can then come to our pathology lab where we examine it. The tissue is thinly sliced and permanently attached to microscope slides, which then go to the pathologist. Pathologists are doctors who study disease. We can examine the sample under a microscope and then issue a pathology report with our findings. In a way, we're like detectives who search for clues in the case in order to solve the type of cancer and treat the patient. We collect the first clue by determining if the growth is malignant, cancerous, or benign, non-cancerous, by examining the sample under a microscope. We look for clues within the sample, such as abnormal cell shapes and sizes, or visible changes in the tissue that reflect the amount of DNA inside the cell. After we determine if a biopsy is indeed cancer, we then assign the cancer a grade. The grade can be described several ways and helps to predict how aggressive the cancer may be. We describe the grade by comparing how the tumor cells resemble the normal, healthy tissue. The more changes between normal and cancerous tissue, the higher the grade. For high-grade tumors, we can't be certain that these cells are coming from the lung. The cancer may have metastasized or spread from another site. Because we have multiple suspects, we need to identify the correct cancer type. So we perform a test called immunohistochemistry, where we apply antibodies and chemical stains to the sample. Depending on which antibodies or stains stick, we can identify the type of cancer from our lineup. Lastly, we identify any unique features the cancer may have that would be useful in developing the treatment plan. For example, lung cancers may contain an altered form of the epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR for short. There are anti-cancer drugs that target this altered EGFR and have improved patient outcomes. So, we perform DNA testing on the biopsy to look for mutations in EGFR or other biomarkers. The cancer type determines which features we screen. With all the important clues gathered, we're ready to make our case. We generate our pathology report, filling in all the information we've gathered along the way. The report goes to the patient's clinical care team, and together we discuss which types of surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy we think will work best to treat the patient's cancer. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, class dismissed.